What's going on, Beach Bums? Many of you have asked for a Pompano rig tying tutorial. It's kind of hard to say, but there are plenty of them on YouTube that you can find. Uh, but I figured I'd go ahead and do one here so that you guys can see how I tie my rigs. It's really nothing special. There's not much to it. There's just a few different knots that I use for the rig, and I'll go over them. I've got my GoPro on, so I'm going to try and give you a perspective of, from a like first-person perspective of tying the knots. Maybe that'll help you guys out when you're doing it yourself watching this video. Some of the materials that you will need to tie your own rigs. I like to use a snap swivel for the bottom. This is to hold the pyramid sinker, so that's where we're going to start. That's where we're going to start tying our knot. Uh, I use circle hooks. You can use kale hooks, and these are 3-0 circle hooks. I typically use 1-0, but for this video, I'm using a little bit heavier line. I'm using 20-pound, or excuse me, I'm using 30-pound monofilament, which I typically use 20-pound monofilament or 20-pound fluorocarbon, but I just got the heavier line, just so hopefully it'll show up a little bit better on the video. Uh, so I just use these because it's got a little bit bigger eye on the hook. So these are 3-0, but I typically use 1-0 circle hooks and they catch anything. They'll, I've caught big, huge fish on one of circle hooks. You've seen some videos if you keep up with me. And a float, I'm gonna do two drops on this rig. On one of them, I am gonna put a float. On both of them, I'm going to put a bead, and uh, one of them is just gonna be just the bead. Let me see if I can, can I zoom in on that? That's not very clear. There we go, uh, maybe not. Well, anyway, <laughs> it's two different beads. Uh, they're both orange. One's kind of clear, and then one's just solid, solid orange. And that's the good thing about being able to let's brighten that up. That's the good thing about being able to tie your own rigs is having the options because I can do some different things. I can put a float on one. I can not put a float on one. I can do one drop. I can do two drops. So that's a big advantage to tying your own that you're not going to necessarily get if you're out buying rigs pre-made. I always start at the bottom and I start by tying a polymer knot onto my snap swivel. So basic polymer knot, you just want to make, you know, bend it over, make a loop, and then you take your loop and you put it through the eye. And then you tie just a simple granny knot with that loop, it just loops back through there. I'm gonna to try to go slow here so you can see what I'm doing. Really simple knot. If I'm not gonna go into too much detail here. It's really easy. There are plenty of videos that you can watch how to tie a polymer knot, but it's just basically making a loop, tying a granny knot. See, it's just a basic knot there. And then you take whatever piece of tackle you have, whether it's a hook or the snap swivel, and you put it through the hole and then just tighten that down and that's a very strong connection so that's the bottom of our pompano rig and I just trim off the tag end next I'm going to slide up the line anywhere from 8 to 10 inches and I'm going to make our first loop, and this is what's going to be our dropper loop. So all you do is just make a loop, and hopefully you can see this on the GoPro. I will find out soon enough. Need some slack here. So you make a loop. Depending on how big your loop is, that's how long that line is going to be off of the main line. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. But you make a loop, and then to tie this loop knot, it's really simple. You just take the end the tag end here and you wrap it through five or six times. So there's one, two, three, four, I'm trying to go slow here, five, we'll just do five times. So now you've got your loop and then you just wrapped around, you've got the tag end, the bottom end looped around five or six times. Once you have this made, you just find the center of all these loops. So we made like five or six loops here and you just kind of guess where the middle is. You don't have to count it out, but just guess the middle, spread that apart. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna bring this loop through 
that hole that you just created from the center, okay? And normally what I do is I pull this through and then I use my teeth, solid knot, maybe you can see it here on the GoPro, and you've got your loop. And that's what you're going to use for your pompano rig. So that's pretty much it. But what we're going to do, we're going to repeat that process one more time. So you'll get to see it again. And then we'll put everything on. So I'm going to come up again about 8 to 10 inches. We're going to make our loop just like we did last time. And then what I do, you can wrap this end through, but just to make it a little, e little easier, because if you try to wrap all this through, you've got now, you've got this loop that's going to be getting caught up in the in the other loop, and then you've got your snap swivel that's going to be getting caught up in it. So what I do is I go ahead and just cut the end of that off there. So now it just makes life a little bit easier, especially when you're dealing with monofilament, because uh, monofilament has all that memory in it so this is a little bit easier to deal with so now we just got this end here and I can just wrap it through like I said like last time five or six times so there's one two three four come here and five okay so now we've got the same thing we've got from last time same idea we've got the loop with all the little smaller loops and we just find the middle separate that apart and bring that loop through again okay cinch it down with your teeth there you go nice solid knot connections so now that we've got our two loops when you're tying your own rigs here here's the big advantage is we can put on here whatever we want we can do just a straight hook if we want we can do just a float we can do a float and a bead we can do just a bead however you want to do it which is which is important you know you want to have that variety when you're out there fishing so on this top one i am going to go ahead and put a float on so we'll put that float and a bead i'm just going to put the solid orange bead and the float doesn't matter here i'm just mixing and matching okay and then to connect the hook, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Uh, first, what you can do, what a, lot of, what a lot of guys do, you don't have to actually tie it down. You just take the loop because you've already got a loop here. This is basically like tying a polymer knot. But you can slide it through. You can wrap that around the hook and then slide it through the hole like what I just did there. And then cinch that down. Okay, so... It's not actually tied off on there, but that's a solid connection. The hook's not going anywhere, and you can replace hooks this way on the rig if you need to do it. So again, if you want to see that one more time, it just comes through the eye of the hook. You kind of wrap it around the hook, and then through that loop, and then cinch it down. That's what a lot of guys do. That's that, that's a easy way to connect the hook and if you again if you need to replace the hook if it gets bent or something you can easily slide this off and replace it but what i like to do i typically go ahead and tie the polymer knot just to have a good solid connection so uh, i just go ahead and do the same thing as if i'm tying on the and i didn't really make this loop long enough here <laughs> this is a pretty small loop so we'll see if we can get this done but we'll just tie it just like the same knot as if I was tying on that uh, the snap swivel this is pretty small to work with but you get the idea it's the same knot polymer knot okay so we'll do that one more time down here and this one I'm just putting on a bead so this is pretty standard what I would do if I were tying an actual pompano rig, again, I'm not going to use this one because I don't generally use 30 pound monofilament. I will sometimes if it's real, real rough and I need heavier weights, but usually I'm using 20 pound mono or 20 pound flora. But again, same thing. So we've got just the bead and we're just going to tie this off like a polymer knot. So you make your granny knot. 
and bring the hook through. Cinch that down. There you go. So now we've got our own hand tied pompano rig. Simple, easy, just some basic knots that you can tie to do it yourself. So hopefully that will help you out. If you want to tie your own, watch this video as many times as you need to, and it'll help you save a lot of money in the long run if you're tying your own knots, and it gives you the authority to pick what color beads, what color floats, if you want floats, if you want one drop, if you want two drops. Uh, it just gives you that variety, which is helpful when you're out surf fishing because sometimes these fish can be finicky and they may hit one thing versus the other. If you don't want to tie your own, you can always pick these up at a tackle shop. Uh, Lost Bay has a lot of options. They actually do have hand-tied uh, rigs that you can purchase there. They also will be carrying the Fish Bites pre-tied pompano rigs, which those have a lot of variety on the color of beads and color of floats as well. I believe most of those have kale hooks, which again, that's fine. I use circle hooks. Either one works great. They work the same way. The fish will hook themselves. Guys, I hope this helps you out. I hope you catch a lot of fish. Pompano are about to be super hot in the surf. We've been catching a bunch, but they're only going to get better as these water temperatures get up. So you go catch some Pompano. Use these rigs yourself, and I hope it helps. And as always, you stay bummy.